going on everybody well this evening we're going to be tasting some mosaic hop infused pseudo monsoon coffee that i made and what i have probably failed to mention is the goal of all this uh it begins with being introduced to a monsoon of malabar a while back for some good friends of mine and falling in love with the coffee uh, it's so musty um, deep earthy flavors that uh, I wanted to see if I could do it myself and I sort of half tried <laughs> with a little procedure didn't work worth a darn and uh, one day I uh, have a little cart that uh, I was roasting on and it I didn't know it, but some beans had fell into a little pocket in the, in the cart. And some rain came and they got wet. So, and they swole up, lost their color, just like real monsoon Malabar uh, does and is. So I said, hmm, maybe if I just, instead of trying to infuse it with humidity over time, how about if I just you know, uh, expose it to water <laughs> and steep it, if you will. So I uh, wrestled with the idea for, for a good long while and decided to try to do it. And that's what the whole canning thing about. And this whole process isn't about the hop infused coffee, which I'm a huge fan of. This portion was more of a, um, what do you call it? Proof of concept, just to see if the coffee would work how it would come out so this is the final result and so I'm doing a 27 gram batch to 432 ounces so it's 16 to 1 uh, 195 in my Chemex a white bleached square filter 8 cup Chemex in my Yeti so let's uh, let's give it a tasting why don't we the smell is nice just deep coffee I do get some floral fruity notes but not much so it's sort of kind of a plain coffee smell let's give it a taste why don't we I like doing a little Kentucky Chew retro hail as I'm drinking very bright very, very bright coffee Hops are there. You taste them. Lingering. Pretty much gone. Very nice. The coffee is it's bold. I don't want to say it's riding on the mustiness. You know, maybe giving it a little bit of credit. Uh, but it's deep. It, it, it's thick. really taste the hops very interesting wow it's just it really is a deep earthy not not as far as an umami earthy but just a just a straight earth flavor yeah very bright so we'll give this a few minutes and let the cup cool be right back all right, I'm about halfway through the cup. One of the things I noticed about the coffee, it does have a nice uh, milky mouthfeel. You know how milk sort of coats your palate, lingers a little bit? That's what this is doing. You know, once you get past the first, probably first third of the cup, your palate sort of gets used to the hops and you really don't taste it anymore whether it actually cools and goes away um, or your palate gets used to it it really just uh, morphs into a, a very fruity very bright uh, no bitterness cup of coffee um, it, it's not thick as in uh, French press coffee but again a very milky coats your palate very well 
lingers, um, um, bold, very nice. Running it through my nasal passages again. Yeah, just very bright, sweet, florally, delicious. So I'm toward the bottom of the cup. Mm. This is interesting. <laughs> Think of uh, the best coffee you ever had. Take five sweet tarts, crush them in your hand. <laughs> Put them in a coffee filter, filter your coffee through it. That's what this tastes like. Wow. So sweet. You kind of get that citric acid um, flavor from the sweet tarts. Wow. Very bright. The the floral floralness, hoppiness, <laughs> has completely taken over the coffee. It's it's very nice, but it's not bitter. Everybody thinks hops are bitter, uh, which they are. But people would think that it would translate into bitterness in the coffee, which it can and has. And, but for this infusion, which is a very high alpha acid, I think it's 12.6. You're not getting the bitterness. It's it's just very bright all the time. It wakes the whole palate up. Um, sweet. It's gorgeous. Oh yeah. <laughs> you talk about transitions. If you like transitions in things, this is a transitional cup. Like most really good coffees can be. <laughs> Very good coffee. I would call this a success. Um, what's the next step? Well, as you've seen in one of the other videos, I do have another jar with coffee in it that is, is um, hasn't been infused with anything. So I'm going to be giving that uh, just a little bit more time and drying and roasting it. And see if it if we do get the uh, a little bit more of a mustiness like a monsoon Malabar, you know. In this process, excuse me, was really more about a proof of concept. If if that coffee comes out good, and at least shows potential of being, you know, more of the musty, earthy, mushroomy flavors, then I'm going to be doing it again. But I'm going to see if I can find a dehydrator, and hydrate and dehydrate many many times and see how it comes out so but i'm real happy with with this mosaic infused pseudo monsoon coffee uh really great experience really tasty cup of coffee so with that get yourself a cup of coffee and enjoy take care everybody we'll see y'all later Bye.